Hey everyone, welcome back to another Your Pal Willem video, and today it's time to get a little spooky. It's time to get a little bit of a little bit of a spooky spooky thing going on. Because it's it's our Halloween special a little bit late, um, admittedly, because it took much longer than expected. But um here we are. What have we got today? Well, it's we're gonna draw the headless horseman of of Sleepy Hollow, a Halloween staple for sure. The, it's it's a great it's a great one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And I might try something a little bit different today. I might. Will you stop? Stop it! Stop it! I'm, stop it! I'm recording. Uh, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. Uh, we. I might. I might do a little bit of a little bit of a. Uh, an, introduction and maybe some uh information about the headless horseman like a little bit of a voiceover i think it's an interesting idea and i think it's a great video to start on i hope you have a have a spook spooky spooktacular time and i'll see you after the time lapse bye bye the legend of the headless horseman also known as the headless hessian of the hollow begins in Sleepy Hollow, New York, during the American Revolutionary War. Traditional folklore holds that the horseman was a Hessian trooper, a, a German trooper that served the British, who was killed during the Battle of White Plains in 1776. He was decapitated by a cannonball, and the shattered remains of his head were left on the battlefield while his comrades hastily carried his body away. Eventually, they buried him in the cemetery of the old Dutch church of Sleepy Hollow, from which he rises as a malevolent ghost, furiously seeking his lost head and wielding what is sometimes an axe or a sword as a weapon to lob off and collect the heads of his victims out too late in the foggy woodlands of the hollow. In the story that made the horseman infamous, the legend of Sleepy Hollow, Sleepy Hollow is renowned for its ghosts and the haunting atmosphere that pervades the imaginations of its inhabitants and visitors. Residents of the town are seemingly subjected to various supernatural and mysterious occurrences. They are subjected to trance-like visions and frequented by strange sights, music, and voices in the air. The inhabitants of Sleepy Hollow are fascinated by the local tales haunted spots, and twilight superstitions on account of the mysterious occurrences and haunting atmosphere. The most infamous specter of the Hollow, and the quote, commander-in-chief of all the powers of the air, is the Headless Horseman. The main character in the story, a superstitious and notably bird-like schoolteacher, Ichabod Crane, encounters a cloaked rider at an intersection in a menacing swamp. Unsettled by his fellow traveler's eerie sighs and silence, the teacher is horrified to discover that his companion's head is not on his shoulders, but on his saddle. In a frenzied race to the bridge adjacent to the old Dutch burying ground, where the Hessian is said to vanish according to rule in a flash of fire and brimstone. Before crossing it, Ichabod rides for his life, desperately goading Gunpowder, which is his horse's name, down the hollow. However, while Crane and Gunpowder are able to cross the bridge ahead of the ghoul, Ichabod turns back in horror to see the monster rear his horse and hurl his severed head directly at him with a fierce notion. The schoolmaster attempts to dodge, but it's too late. The missile strikes him in the head and sends him tumbling headlong into the dust from his horse. Ichabod was never seen again.
And we're back. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was, it was it was fun. Took a long time though. That's why this video is a bit late. Um, notable things about the drawing. I had just seen Sleepy Hollow, the Tim Burton movie. Um, really good. So that's kind of what I based the trees and atmosphere around. It's very uh, uh unsaturated. And uh, and I did some cross hatching, so it looked like an old like, like newspaper drawing or something. I don't know. I just thought it made it look old and kind of spooky a little bit. But um, anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope you had a great Halloween, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.